Hey world, hey YouTube land. How's it going? Oh wow, it's uh, been a quite a depressing week really, hasn't it? We need a, a white pill at the moment. Now, white pill? What's a white pill? Uh, according to one of my favourite websites here, um, urbandictionary.com. White pill. Being aware of a difficult situation or position and having a fighting can-do attitude. Not giving up, plus accomplishing said thing within a difficult situation. Being optimistic, not many through gut feelings, but by having thought about a situation enough to understand how to get through it successfully. So a, a white pill is doing something about a, um, a bad situation and for your own hard work and effort and optimism and um, sorting that problem out. Okay, I haven't got a white pill um, as uh, related to the awful terrorist attack in Barcelona or the constant race baiting from the left calling everyone Nazis. But uh, I do have a white pill in the form of a comic book for you. It's um, The Sandman, number one. DC Comics, celebrating Jack Kirby, his um, 100th year, if he was still alive. A, an awesome comic um, which is white pill encapsulated in that the, the two main stories are just full of hope and possibility and optimism, but not Obama hope, not a, 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 um, a faux hope. A hope because you've actually done something yourself to, to change your life and make it better. And the style of artwork is, is very old school and cool. I just love it, man. This reminds me of, you know, when comic books were truly great. This is Dan Jurgens who does this, this first story. And what do I mean by the old school art? Who's the artist? Give me credit as well. Um, artist is um, John Bogdanov, which I've obviously brutalised his name. Sorry, John Bogdanov. Um, John. Great job, John. Anyway, the, the story. This guy here, the Sandman, is in his, um, it's almost like a dream capsule, isn't it? He's looking at the, the dreams of other boys and girls, like the big friendly giant. And there's a, uh, a kid having a, a nightmare. So he's rushing to the rescue to help this kid out. I've got these odd characters following him around, and it's all very funny. And it's all very nice. And at the end of the dream, he realises that this guy here, this mysterious superhero who actually beats all the uh, the bad guys in the dream, um, was the creation of the kid having the dream itself. So the, the kid has basically um, defended himself from the nightmares, he didn't need the Sandman at all. And that kid is Jack Kirby. So you at the end. Um, Jacob Kurtzberg, there we go, that's just Jack Kirby's real name. So the, the, the kid was strong enough to you know, fight off his nightmares without the aid of the Sandman. So it's a, yeah, it's a white pill story, isn't it? About um, not relying on the superheroes, which in many ways represent the violence of the state and doing things for yourself. So awesome story. The second one, it actually bleeds into the second story, which is a bit confusing. So that's one part of the book I didn't like. So one story ends and you immediately into a new story. And it's a bit confusing because you think the new story is part of the old one, but it's not. Uh, the new story then, this one's by... Steve Orlando, or the second story, by Steve Orlando, Penciler, Rick Leonardi. And again, it's got the old school comic book art, which is very, very cool. The Sandman there. And I just rushed to the end of this one. It's another white pill story. It's about a kid getting in touch with um, his granddad again. And um, almost righting the wrongs. Um, doing the things that he should have done in life um, in the dream. I'll just read out some of the, the dialogue here. Because it's, it's worth reading out, I think. Here we go. I don't know what to say. I'm sorry, Grandpa. I had to get out of this house, away from you. Be anything but some kid from a backwards town. Be smart, cool. I was stupid. I, I should have called, visited. I thought about it almost every day. But something always came up. I, I always thought that you'd be here. This place is part of me, but it embarrassed me. I, I thought it did, at least. By the time I came, By the time I came looking for it, it was gone. So it's, it's telling you really, don't, you know, don't lose touch um, with your past and the, the people who made you what you are today. Don't be embarrassed, don't be cool. There's, there's nothing embarrassing about your granddad. Your grand, the granddad's awesome. If it wasn't for your granddad, you wouldn't be here. And at the end of the book, he's um, embracing his granddad there and uh, Sandman's just riding off. Because it's not about the Sandman, it's, you know, it's, it's about people. Um, doing things um, by themselves, for themselves, and uh, achieving the, the happiness that is there if you want it, if you're wise enough to, to grasp the opportunities.
So another a white, white George toy. And um, you also get a couple of old Kirby, um, very short stories, which are about two pages long. And there's one, two, oh, three, four of these different stories about the DNA, the DNA projects. And it's kind of sketches really by Kirby, um, ideas uh, which could you know, spiral into something, you know, something huge. You can just see how um, Kirby's mind works, like he's always thinking about something new all the time, always moving on to something new. He's yeah, you know, incredible mind, you know. Very, very creative man, obviously, Jack Kirby, and you just see some of his um, ideas here. So it's a, an awesome comic book, um, Sandman, number one. Very, very happy white pill comic book, but it's not a, like I said before, not an Obama hopey happy. A, a real happy, you know, reminder that um, the world is what you make of it. If you want to be happy, go out there into the world and um, happiness because it, it's there if you want it. There we go. In my video there, thanks for checking me out and um, don't pay the silly hat. And um, the world is full of possibilities and you can do anything that you want to do. Now, it's going to be hard work, but um, yeah, it's all there for you. And last thing then before I end um, the video, I've just started a new account on Gab. That's G-A-B, because um, I think there's going to be a lot of censorship coming soon for um, anyone who, who tries to speak his mind, speak the truth. So I've set up a new account on, on Gab. It's a bit like Facebook. It's um, very, very new, and it's got um, added free speech. <laughs> I'll leave a link down below to, to my account on Gab then. Um, check it out. And it's just something else for you to, you know, an, another me, um, a social media platform to, to join. Um, and I think it'll it'll grow like you know when um, uh, MySpace um, declined and Facebook grew, I think um, platforms like Gab will be the the new Facebook after Facebook declines because of leftist censorship. Okay, thanks for checking me out. Um, see you all later. Um, Gab thing down below. Yeah, bye bye. Bye. Have a great weekend. See ya.